Hi guys and welcome to Brave Dog Training Online's Women Power Playlist. Today we're going to talk about patience in dog training. How and why. Enjoy. Okay, so whenever we are dealing with exhausting behavior, <laughs> Like, if we have fear issues to deal with, if we have aggression or reactivity issues, if our dogs just do things that are not really dangerous but annoying, like pulling on the lead or things like that, we need patience. Sometimes when these things are going on for a really long time and I've seen dogs who were pulling on the leash for seven years <laughs> and then the people just expected to stop the behavior in three days that's not possible they have been doing that for seven years it will not take seven years to change it but the longer a behavior has been practiced the longer it takes to change it and some behaviors are more tricky to change some behaviors are more easy and sometimes we really need some endurance and some patience in dealing with those issues like fear issues they are so deeply rooted sometimes that we really really need to have a long breath and we really need to have patience and find a happy place where we can go and recharge because it takes time and to find that patience in us we have to be stable ourselves we have to have a low constant stress level so if we are in a high stress level all the time our patience is lower so we need to take care of ourselves, of our own stress levels. We need to release stress. We need to recharge our batteries consistently. And if we are having a bad day and just not feeling like training, I like to just not train <laughs> and use management instead. Like if we have leash reactivity and I'm really not feeling well, on a day. I will not go at the busiest times on the busiest routes and get annoyed by my dog reacting all the time. I will take my dog and go somewhere <laughs> where we don't meet anybody and just have fun together. It's good for the relationship and it's just a way more useful thing to do than training in a bad mood because whenever we are more stressed and impatient it does affect our dogs immediately and that affects us again also our perception of things changes if we are stressed we notice negative things more intensely than if we are not stressed and that's why i would always have a look at how am i feeling am i up for training today and if not we can do it tomorrow and if we are we can give 100 percent and we can be patient and it is easiest to be patient when we are constantly seeing success and no frustration so what we can do is do a very small step training reward often and use short training sequences a few minutes one or two situations on the walk and then it's fine and keep the fun in it that's the most important thing that's it i wish you an amazing time with your dog a lot of patience and we'll see each other next time bye